Jockey Club and the Faculty of Social Sciences at Hong Kong U, Excel 3 is now in its second phase. During the first phase, Excel 3 met its objectives to build capacity among NGOs in Hong Kong and in Greater China, and to build capacity within the university to carry out research on NGOs and civil society. Our goal is to empower civil society. As a not-for-profit organization that channels surplus funds into worthy courses, the Hong Kong Jockey Club is dedicated to improving the quality of life of Hong Kong people. We're excited to learn that in Phase 1, more than 3,000 people from a variety of foreign and local NGOs, social enterprises and foundations benefited from shared experiences at various symposia and workshops organized by Excel 3 Armed with the knowledge gained from these programs, we are confident that Excel 3 will scale new heights in Phase 2. From the Excel 3 Phase 1 projects, we have developed deeper understanding of the strengths and pitfalls of NGOs in Hong Kong. We have developed capacity assessment tools, competency models for CEOs, guru series and best practices. The Excel 3 Phase 2 projects will empower civil society through CEO succession planning, evidence-based practice, and impact assessment of social innovations. Leaders of NGOs also participated in and benefited from Excel 3 activities. I'm really impressed by two of the workshops that I attend. The first is on the logic model, the second one is on the evidence-based practice. For the logic model, you know, it provided me with a very simple and easy to understand framework and I could share with my colleagues in generating very good programs from uh, simple ideas. For the evidence-based practice, uh, in which I had met with a lot of people with like mind and we've been advocating evidence-based practice since then. My own experience with XL3's collaborative projects has been to attend some of the seminars and the workshops that were organized. They have been extremely inspiring for us. I hope in the future, the next phase of XL3 will continue to bring us overseas, international and experts so that we can move beyond the confines of Hong Kong in the daily work that we do. The development of the Case Bank is one of the main focuses throughout the XL3 project. The use of e-cases and written cases in the classroom is a very effective pedagogical tool that allows students to be involved in the learning process through the illustration of complex problems based on practical, real-world scenarios. In phase one, we produce three e-cases and three written cases. We'll continue to develop different e-cases in phase two. Together with the cases we produce in phase one, we can use them to contribute to global knowledge exchange and position Hong Kong as a key hub for non-profit management education and training throughout the world. I have taught the Collaboration Challenge and the L Plus H eCases. eCases help me to deliver a unique analytical tool to students more efficiently. In the real world, evidence are not presented in a linear way. eCases better train the students to filter out irrelevant information and to detect the essential but sometimes disguised information. It is like a detective game for us. It was my first time use eCases during class. They showed me the real-world situation and it was particularly helpful as an international student to know more about the social issues in Hong Kong. Although it is challenging, it leaves a greater impact. The Excel 3 project has impacted the third sector at regional, organizational and personal levels. Excel 3 aims at building the capacity of NGOs and empower civil society. For example, competency model for NGO leaders, build a awareness among NGO leaders and also develop a capacity building framework for them. It can be applied to more different NGOs with different organizational contexts. In organizational level, Excel 3 builds a platform for NGOs to share experience on different aspects, helping our colleagues to enrich their knowledge through seminars and workshops. Besides, the building up of an e-case platform allows us to contribute to Excel 3 by providing real-case scenarios in NGO field, 
It is mutually beneficial to both our organizations and Hong Kong University. I can deepen my knowledge about things like fundraising ideas, about policy, all of those areas that we can't be experts in everything. I could use more input about how to run the business of a nonprofit, how to interact and work with the corporate world in a way that's beneficial for them and beneficial for our cause. Excel 3 is building on its success and will launch a series of new academic and professional endeavors in Phase 2. We seek to provide further strategic leadership training for NGO leaders. We emphasize continuous education and capacity building through Excel 3's Executive Institute. In September 2015, we will also launch a new master's degree in nonprofit management, a one year full time program. The curriculum of the Master of Social Sciences in Nonprofit Management is designed to train leaders in civil society and particularly in nonprofit sector in Asia Pacific countries, Greater China, and throughout the world. The student will not only learn from their teachers, they will form themselves into learning clusters and learn from each other. Their fellow students will be part of the international resource network in the future. Fifteen Excel 3 collaborative projects have been successfully completed. New Phase 2 projects under different themes will be carried out to enhance evidence-based practice leadership skills, strategic management and governance through cross-sectoral collaborations among academics and NGOs. I'm excited to share today about the project Child Welfare Development and Social Inclusion of At-Risk Children in Hong Kong. This three-year initiative is bringing together child welfare experts, NGOs, physicians, and educators to tackle the challenges faced by our disadvantaged children. Uh, the project is about um, engaging the uh, environment NGOs in Hong Kong and also providing training for the uh, sector so that they can come up with innovative, collaborative solutions to water resources management in the Pearl the region. The project is about enhancing the capabilities of and knowledge of local NGOs in e-engagement activities. The project includes a series of workshops, um, seminars, and also case studies that are related to how NGOs can enhance their human capabilities. Community arts is an interactive experience to connect people, share ideas, and develop a rapport with the community. We are creating projects to facilitate the engagement process so that people can spend time learning, exploring, and having fun through arts. In Excel 3 Phase 2, the NGO Capacity Building Platform strengthens its focus in translating and transforming practice wisdom into learnable and transferable knowledge. The Organizational Capacity Assessment Project works with small, non subventive NGOs in Hong Kong to identify areas for future development and increase their self-knowledge. We also hope to, through this project, develop a localized tool. We've also been studying the uh, governance, leadership and strategy management of large NGOs in Phase 2. We hope to consolidate these practices into models and frameworks so as to facilitate learning within the sector and also to inform social welfare policies. Philanthropy plays an important role in the development of civil society, and it is one of our major Phase 2 initiatives. Philanthropy is a catalyst for social change. It is a source of social capital. The Philanthropy Lab serves as a hub. It provides a platform for NGOs and foundations, social enterprises and academics together build the knowledge, the protocols and the best practice in giving. May I offer my profound thanks to the Hong Kong Jockey Club for its support. I wish Phase 2 of the project every success. Music